Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine program, and this is a bit of a kind of like throw together um, episode because um, a guy called uh, Omri Elliott has just shown up and he's just given us a couple of bottles of wine. And um, the first one is the Elliott Brothers Marlborough Pinot Noir 2007, and the other one is um, a wine that I don't know whether you can see that Maison Plein de Vin. Um, uh, it's a Cote de Rhone. And um, so he's just shown up and <coughs> um, just a shopping here and then he kind of managed to get kind of two bottles out of his car. The Elliott Brothers is not available here at all. It's all shipped to the, I think it's the east coast of the United States in um, New Jersey, New York. And, um, and he's, he's made the wine for his dad's 80th birthday and so I guess we're fairly privileged to be able to get that. He also dropped in, a friend of his is thinking of um, bringing this into the country, the Plan of Man, uh, Cote de Rhone. And um, so we'll start with this one. Now I really like Marlborough Pinot, so. You get that classic kind of Pinot nose, you get some cherry, but what you, and burnt cherry, kind of red and black cherry, but what you do get with Marlborough Pinot, which I quite like, and it's a bit of funkiness, is that kind of earthy, savoury character, and um, that's on here. Another thing, I don't know whether you can see that, it's it's fairly, fairly light, kind of ruby colour. That's good, firm, solid acid there, but you get a, an abundance of fruit at the front. It comes through, and then it turns into that kind of nice savouriness, kind of mealiness at the back, which um, I would say is very, very nice. And um, we probably can't sell it, but um, because uh, I think a thousand cases go straight to the US, and bang, Bob's your uncle. Um, but if we can get any, um, I would say that uh, definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to score that 88 points. The next wine is, I don't know whether you can already see that, the, the massive colour, kind of it's gone purple, dark purple, Syrah Grenache based Maison Planavin. She's almost got a bit of kind of uh, sweaty plimsoll in there initially. And actually, yeah, I'm getting a bit of rubber, sweaty plimsoll, kind of earthy characters, uh, along with kind of some deep dark kind of blackberry and a bit of kind of bit of herb, a um, bit of rosemary, and also a bit of strawberry. Definitely made for food. You get kind of nice, rich, firm tannin in your mouth. You get that lushness that you should expect, and that ripeness from the Grenache. I should imagine it's probably about 50-50. You do get a bit of a, a spice there. Um, you get that lovely savoury character as well coming through after the fruit has disappeared. Um, now they're thinking about bringing this wine in, and I would certainly recommend bringing this wine in. Um, I think it's going to sit on the shelves about 20 bucks um, if it does come in. Um, and it is from Viol in uh, southern France, and it's bottled up actually at the Domain as well, which is uh, for me is a bit more kind of authentic. And for that, I'm going to give. I don't know whether you can actually see it there. I'm going to give it 88, 89 points. Um, thoroughly recommend it, and if we can actually get it in, it'd be fantastic. That's what Cote de Rhone should be about. 
quite nice and dry at the moment and it's I actually don't know what year Two thousand and seven. So um, they're both two thousand and seven. Um, so anyway, still no one's found the wine, um, which is good news for me. Um, it means it carries on a bit, bit further. Now no one else has scored these wines, I don't think. So that's a bit of a first, quite a novelty, and um, a big thanks to Henri Elliott, um, who's uh, from Montreal, studied in America. Um, and yeah, he's all over the place. He's just come back from LA and stuff like that. So that's a, a big shout out to him and uh, thanks very much. Um, two pretty good wines there. Um, so yeah, until the next time, I'll catch you later.